Colorado while she rolling the herb, tired sucking up on the curb. Got this feeling to splurge. My sole purpose is to give you the word. Write these verses with that murder ain't no relation to herbs. Switching lanes for that shifting. Two fives of shots, still grooving this pandemic. I just played the cards, I'm dealt confident with it. Can't take it over this shit. Monstrous vision, never temper thoughts. I came from poverty stricken. One day at a time, can't rush greatness. My mind like plush dates. 27 laps in this bitch. What's up, everybody? This is Alex from the Fancy Flow Football Podcast, where we talk stats and facts to help you win your fancy football league. All right, y'all boys, I come to you on this here Tuesday. Tuesday. The day before waivers. Mm hmm. You know, regular fancy things. Um, the Dolphins. We back. Right? <sighs> we got to talk about the bad first real quick. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about the bad. Let's What's talk the bad? about the bad. What's the bad? I mean, what do you got the bad, bro? <laughs> um, Skyler. <laughs> it's a nah. It's a nah? Yeah, I've been told y'all. Nah. <laughs> I don't think it's a nah, man. But I, I'll give I him more credit. Nah. I'll give him more credit. He didn't do bad with the week of training. It's just that... um. I mean, to say that he would have um, won the game, I don't know. Because to be honest with you, it's not like Teddy didn't throw for 300 some yards, two touchdowns. He also threw for two picks, but yeah, you know, which were crucial. But that's the one thing I always tell y'all. One thing mm. about Teddy, he going to throw some picks. He going to throw the ball. He going to throw some Sometimes picks. Sometimes to the other team. <laughs> exactly. yeah. Yeah. And that's the thing. The and, that's the, and that's the one thing that a lot of people like to kill to over is like these deep balls and everything like that. Mm. But mm. these quarterbacks that are... Throwing the deep balls the way that they um that they do, it ends up getting picked off more than often. Yeah. Like you have, you know, like this it's the Carson Wentz effect. You know what I'm saying? Like he 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 loves to chuck the ball and receivers love to go run under a guy um run under a ball to go catch that from a, a guy that can throw it like that. But mm -hmm. the thing is, guys that throw it like that, I mean, Brett Favre is the same kind of guy. <laughs> so and watching Teddy play. It seemed like he was scared to run outside the pocket properly. Like those times he was back up, spin, and get sacked because he spun. Mm -hmm. He could have just stepped up or went inside, went to the level to the right and escaped it. I, I just know. I think for this week, what ailed us was not having um Armstead. Yeah. Yeah, he's a he's an important part of that line. Yeah, that's true. And then um I think the little he even went out a few times. Maybe he went a few times, and he's been on a decline. I think his stats hasn't been so, good I mean, at all this it, season. I think keeping Teddy upright was a task this week, and it wasn't mm -hmm. an easy one because mm -hmm. that defense isn't isn't a, a, a bad defense. That's a pretty No, their, their D-line looked really good. I mean, they got Darius Smith over there killing people now, bro. He went yeah. over, came from the Packers, went over to the Vikings. Mm -hmm. Now he's doing his thing. And mm -hmm. they, know how to, they know how to play defense, bro. Yes. And – um. So it's like we just we ended up in a situation where we were having hard a hard time trying to keep Teddy upright, and um, Waddle killed us, bro. He Waddle, Waddle really killed us. He did, but he made up for that nice little with a nice little screen pass for about like mm -hmm. 60, 50 yards, whatever yeah. it was. Yeah, I I, I saw the anger on him mm -hmm. while he was mm -hmm. running that, mm -hmm. but um, no. other than other than that, it's like um we just we just couldn't execute the way we needed to i wouldn't 100 percent blame waddle either like yeah he dropped passes and then no it was he, the fumble that he, i'm no it was solely that, the fumble that and then some passes were clearly behind him mm -hmm. we weren't he wasn't teddy wasn't leading his receivers properly as he should have waddle had to adjust come back i think one pick was like that because he had to adjust and it went straight to the and defense. that's another reason to appreciate to everybody that's right accuracy matters mm -hmm. no matter if you could do it deep or not your core in the field accuracy matters it does but Tua's going to be back this week. Yeah, yes. so he's, he got the clearance from the concussion protocol. Mm -hmm. um, we got the update. The update said that he is practicing this week with the intention of starting on Sunday night against the Steelers. Yes. So, um, only thing I'm scared of is him getting hit bad again. Yeah, or falling. Falling, bad. yeah. So other mm -hmm. than that, I expect our team, I think even Armstead should mm -hmm. just, like, find a way to, like, suck it up and just Yeah, you got to play, play with your quarterback back because if it yeah. happens again, I think that's it for Tua for the season. Yeah, you know, it is no for, matter, for the season. He, he might even need to retire at that point. Mm -hmm. But I think if we lose, that's just going to be a bad – it's not saying we can't bounce back still, mm -hmm. but this is a must-win game for us, bro. It's the Steelers. They it, should win this. I'm scared of Najee. 
could go. I mean, but it can go a lot of ways. We, yeah, we should win. Yeah, we can. Mm. We we can destroy their offensive it, line. Is Byron back this week? We he better know. be back because I, I thought he's supposed to be back week four. Because <laughs> we just we lost are. Needham and we yeah. over there playing with Noah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Okay. You're right. <laughs> Yeah, Zav- we should be good. Zavin Howard's dealing with that groin, I think, a little bit too. Yeah, but yeah. he 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 played yes last yeah, game. That yeah. injury, that type of injury right there, it is sucks. A mm-hmm. very annoying, nagging mm-hmm. injury. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm just, I I just hope for the best going forward. Um, the Dolphins need Tua. I think Jalen Waddle misses him dearly. Oh yeah. Um, Tyreek hasn't gotten the end zone since. <laughs> um, Tyreek Hill is still having a historic Stork? Se- season. All word to breaking a record. Look like. Listen, bro, he's trying to tell you mm-hmm. it don't matter to quarterback. It I'm that matter. nice. Mm-hmm. Like, so matter. that's all I'm getting at. Because the thing is, is that people will like to sit there and say that Tyreek was going to have an off year because he came to Miami. Mm-hmm. But in fact, he's getting more volume. He's getting more catches, more touches, everything. Mm-hmm. They are literally using him like he wished. Kansas City would have used yeah. him. Yeah. And that's probably because they don't have a guy named Travis Kelsey there. Well, I mean, we got a, like a, a, a you know, an imposter named Jacecki. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he but ain't, he's not Travis he Kelsey. Travis he's, Kelsey. <laughs> he's not are you, Travis Are Kelsey. you scared of overuse of Tyreek with the, him dealing with cramps a lot now than he did with the Chiefs? He living in Miami now, bro. You got to get used mm. to it. <laughs> drink, drink more water. Drink more drink. water, Gatorade. I mean, he's a he is a workout warrior, but he got to get used to that, that to just acclimating himself. He's been in Kansas City for a while. He, he does, but he's been down here training for a while, but we do I'm give saying, him a lot but, of touches. Imagine every every game, every week you're in Miami, you're still practicing in that heat. You still, yeah. You, which means he should get conditioned to it, mm, but... Mm. Um, it's just one of those things. Like you, like when I just sent the post in the chat um, with the weather, I was like, "Listen, these boys won, and they still talking about still the weather, talking about bro." It, man, because I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, it, it's an interesting looking um, gauge because it was what 120 degrees on their side, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then you look at the Dolphins, it was like only like 100. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah. it's just, obviously yes, it's hotter, but they still won the game, and that was like one of the biggest reasons they felt like the Bills lost the game against us. And we are literally in the situation where we're like, bro, what is it? Because the Vikings are are five and one right now too. So did yeah. we? Are, is the Bills? Are, are you going to attribute it to the injuries now? Because y'all still almost won the game, right? Yeah, it's true. So I don't think the Vikings. I think the Vikings. They're winning. I would put some respect on them. But I don't think they really like that because they struggle against two backup quarterbacks, mm-hmm. hey. and it was a touchdown game. Listen, Honestly, I, I give Mike McDaniel's a lot of credit. He knows how mm-hmm. to um, form this offense. Looking forward to what he does more. Um, obviously, you know we got to get the run game back on track. It looked like it was on track in the mm-hmm. beginning of the season, but yeah. we got to get it back on track. And once we can get that run game back on track, play action opens. Once we get Tua, we're not looking at freaking two picks a game. And mm-hmm. see, the thing is, we got to get to a point where. Both wide receivers and running backs on our team can ball out. Yeah. And usually it's always, well, for the longest time, it's mainly just been running backs mm-hmm. doing mm-hmm. their thing on the Dolphins. And then we lacked in receiving. Now we're doing well in receiving, but the run game is kind of lacking. So Yeah, I think Mostert just had, what, one really good game? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, he had a good. down game, but it is what it is. I mean, their defense is good. That's what I was going to say. But yeah. I still think that McDaniels will get it together. That's true. Thank you for watching the Fantasy Flow Football Podcast. Make sure you tune in for more fantasy football analysis. Like, subscribe, and follow for more content. I'm better to drive, can't stop going, catching all these blessings open field like I'm T.O. It's free-flowing. I'm better to drive, can't stop going, catching all these blessings open field like I'm T.O. It's free-flowing.